before I forget. All right, so this is the mixed media canvas, the beach houses that we started yesterday. For those of you who were with me yesterday or not here, and I, uh, it's a 12 by 24 canvas. I undercoated brown and a light blue and then used a stencil to come over with a darker teal for the sky and a gold for the beach. Added some washi tape and these are painted paint chips, jelly printed, that I'm embellishing to make look like beach houses at Galveston. And la yesterday I did add some white through the circle stencil to make some clouds because I felt it kind of helped with that whimsical. And so what I'm doing now is coming in and adding some of the detail to the houses. And I'm going to add some drop shadows with the gray by them. And when you, I'm also going to shadow the sides. And what you can do with the Faber Castells over the pit, the pins, is you can, over the gel medium, is you can kind of blend it. You have a little bit of time, and then once it dries, it's permanent. But I thought if I did a little darker outlining on some of the edges, that would help it um, kind of separate it from the background a little bit. And after I go in and do all the windows and the doors and the drop shadows, what I'll plan on doing, and I'll probably do this while Ash is on, is, and then tweet a picture. I'm going to, um, I went in and I put like surfboards and on some of the patio tables, I laid in like um, an umbrella, a picnic table just sort of signs of like beach life so that you knew that it was condos at the beach. And then I'll put my quote down at the bottom. I'm not sure what I want on it. Um, but I have these sparkly raised foam letters that I thought I would use. And I had come up with a couple ideas Life is better at the beach is one of them. And the other one was give me the sea and a little cottage just to be. But since you don't really see the water, I think I'm leaning towards the first one, that life is better at the beach. And maybe do everything in black and then just do the word beach in the sparkly letters. Or life and beach. I'm not sure I'm going to kind of play around with it and see how many letters I have. Can you guys, can you see the houses okay as I do them with the marker or should I go in one more? And the other great thing about the pit markers over the gel medium, if you don't like what you do, you can take it back off with baby wipe. Just let it dry before you go back with your marker. And make sure your hands stay clean. I didn't like the brown on that. I don't think I'm going to do a turquoise here. <laughs> I hate when that happens, Mac. So you have to start everything again. I don't have to do much to these windows that are blackened.
the second quote. Yeah, I don't think I want to do Life's a Beach because I don't think she'll like that. Uh, yeah, the second quote was kind of cool, and I figured there's room. So I may even ask her which one she wants before I put it on there. Like I said, I'm going to work on the all the windows first with the brown. Yeah, it's for somebody else. It's not for me. It's a friend of mine. And what mine said that she had seen was um, like a day at the beach. or It was a, like a sticker, a vellum sticker I had. JB5 is crazy fast when you do it. But it's a fun exercise. And it's amazing what you get at the end. I will say you have to... Uh, well, one of, the, one of the tips I will say for the JB5 is um, to like don't get obsessed with gluing it down like tack it like tack it where you want and then go to the next page because the time limit hey I'm glad you're here but yeah the time limits got me and then not preparing it Judy was like I want to fuss and move it around and I know you're supposed to like get out of that and just go with the flow And I did mine on loose pages. Oh, I like that, Mac. You can shake the sand from your shoes, but not from your soul. <coughs> I think that helps. So I kind of darken the edge on the house. Seems to stand out. I need vitamin C. And the other thing I use occasionally is that sometimes I'll use my zigs if I can't find a color. Like I don't really have a dark teal. But they, they will smear when you go to put your final layer of gel medium. But this is, I want this smeared anyways. I just want to darken the, the edges. Well, it is hard to do all five, I don't, is Ash going to do all five steps in one sitting? That is kind of hard. I did mine in stages. I did it 
like twice and I kind of cheated on the step well my step five my pin work because was at that point was just adding drop shadows and um, signing my name and did more in free play but I kind of planned out my my gluing parts but it did also if you like like I saw somebody on YouTube who when they did theirs they um they had like newspaper squares they had punched like a bunch of circles and squares and some flowers and they had everything kind of sorted in some trays and they just kind of grabbed and repeated some elements and that was cool um i'm not yeah i cheated yeah i cheated but hey I sell most of my artwork. I'm not journaling like so I was like didn't want to create things that to put in the Etsy store that I didn't like. So Yeah, especially for the the second step and the fourth step. And those are the glue steps. Like the stamping you know, adding the stamp or some of the stenciling over, that wasn't really any big deal. Yeah, I'm when I say gel medium, I use Mod Posh or Decoupage, just as long as it's dry. So I this dried overnight. I only use the expensive stuff when it's hard to really stick. So, um, because I'm a, a Deco Arts helping artist program I get this for free so I use this brand but you can use the Mod Podge or the Collage Podge any of those will work the main thing is just to make sure that it's dry and like I said I'm just kinda shadowing some areas right now and I'm usually I'm using the walnut brown the teal and the gray mostly right now and I'll have to watch it won't be as bad as like when I do a face because your fingers get really dirty so like you'll go use a light color and you'll have gray on your fingers I just find that the adding this kind of helps the 3D effect and helps you bring it out. So I usually just put it on the edge and drag. Well, I really like their products. Um, and have used um, pretty much abandoned my blog. I just don't have time when school's in. And since when I do the I've done more, like, focus more on the videos. And now the you streaming. Which sure helped make posting two videos quickly to YouTube with no editing. That's what took all the time. 
Oh, I like that one too. Smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. I'll have to go back after the... Yeah, Lynn, go get ready. I'll put I'll post the video up to YouTube too. And tweet some pictures of the finished houses. Yeah, because you can always Renee's right, you can always go back after your five steps and in your free play spend as much time you as you want on each page finishing it up. And that, you know, you'd look at something and think, wow, that's a hot mess. And then you go in there and do free play and it's amazing when you're finished. And the other thing I decided is I don't like the three white next to each other. So I think what I'm going to do is gray out this one. So it's kind of like weathered wood. pull some of that back. Go around each one of those little, just to make it. And go back and hit some of the windows again. Sometimes I'll switch it up, the configuration of the panes to make some of them look more modern. Hi, CB. Uh, I would love to live in Galveston. I don't know if I want to live there when there's a hurricane. 
well, not actually Galveston. I'd love to live somewhere along the, between that and the Sabine Pass. We used to live in Lake Jackson near Freeport and go to Surfside. And the other thing I do sometimes for whites when I want to shadow them is either use the really light gray or a really light blue. So sometimes if I just want to give something that's white a shadow. I think I'm going to switch to the light gray. Yeah, I'm, I would like to go to, um, I'd like to go from like Charlotte down to Savannah and visit all the islands that I've read about in all the books. Um, I can't, of course, can't think of, there's that one author that writes and all the books are different on different islands. Yeah, we used to go to um, the Keys and spend two weeks every year in the summer in a marathon and just rent a little cottage or um, a room but you know it's we like staying there because it wasn't as expensive and it's halfway and we could island hop and go to all the different you know like Isla Mirada one day or Key Largo and then the next day go down to Key West and go diving. We almost went to Tampa. I mean literally if they would have offered us both jobs we would have signed the contract. But they waited. We told them. If they didn't call. We would go through Houston and have jobs in Houston before we went home and they waited till we got home and we would both signed contracts with it. A district down south of Houston which was actually probably better because then my mother-in-law got sick so we would have ended up Yeah, yeah, outside of Savannah, Judy, I think, isn't it, Tybee? Oh, I almost forgot the, the door on this one. And this is when I, <clears throat> when I can kind of straighten up, like if my, the little piece of paper I cut,
isn't straight? Or are you making a list and copying them all? Matt, Judy, all of the quotes. Yeah, I went and pinned a bunch and then just got distracted and didn't finish. I'm trying to move a cord without. No, I'm trying to get in camera without knocking anything over so you guys can see better. So I'm going to work on this one right here. Yeah, we stayed, um, yeah, links should be open map, I think. Try, and then we'll figure out. I don't know how to open them, so if they're closed. I don't know how I'm supposed to have them open or not open. But we, anyways, we, um would stay usually right around Biloxi when we were going to the Keys. And uh, we stayed in Port, Port St. Louis. And then Katrina came in and destroyed it. So it was, wow, like so devastating the next time we came through. Um, I don't see, and Jean's not here. I don't know where I click to open links. mess links not open but I don't know where to I don't know how to open them and I don't want to mess anything up like Because I don't have the Ustream producer. I didn't, you know, I didn't pay for any of the features. I'm going to see if it's on the menu. More features. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it today, but I need to get Jean to tell me how to, like, where, how to do that, like, where it is. I just don't want to bump myself, like, kick myself out. No, it's not based on any place, just other than... The colors are based on what she had in her shower curtain. But no, I just saw the ho little house. They look like this, CB, before. You buy them at Lowe's. Well, you don't buy them. You pick them up for free at Lowe's. Uh, you just go through and get all your paint chips, which I'm obsessed with. 
And these came from Lowe's. They're Sherwin Williams. And I just saw them and thought of houses. And then I thought the all the different colored, you know, the painted ladies, all the Vic it'd be cute for Victorian houses too. And when I wanted them taller, I just cut the top off and did two. And um, I jelly printed them. The only thing when you jelly print them or stencil them, whatever you're doing on top of them, is it's slick. So when you lay it down to jelly print, you don't want to wiggle it too much. Because you will get, you can see where some of them, my images are kind of smeared because they moved when I was like brighter. I was using the Deco Arts uh, Andy Skinner stencils and they're a little thick. I will say that when I use the stencils that I cut out of the index dividers, I don't have as many problems because they're so thin that. You just lay it down and you don't have to really put any pressure. But then after you pull it off, you could lightly sand. But I, I imagine that would maybe, it might just stress your color. Once you get a light, you also could possibly um, jelly print like matte medium over it. Like put matte medium on your jelly plate and just lay them down and then take it off and let it dry. Because once you get your first kind of layer of paint, then the adding the second layers doesn't really have a isn't really a problem and um on the dark colored ones i do metallics like if you do the coppers and the golds and the pbo's that will pop on the dark ones Yeah, if you sanded it, it might take off some of the original color. But like I said, I think if you just jelly printed and all you did was roll out the the gel medium on your plate and then just put them down with no pattern. or You could do a pattern to do a resist, possibly. But if you just did that in a mat, it might take the paint better. It might, or, or clear gesso on them might also get you a crisper image but I didn't really have any problems I don't mind that there's some bleed or some blur because I'm gonna come back over them and add layers and add color you know I come back in and work with my pins anyways so I don't really kinda I didn't really worry about that I just went with it and the, oh, I took the other one that I finished is not in here anymore. I put it back on the wall. Because I have to clean up as I go. Or I can't work in this little place. That first time I streamed, I rolled and turned my chair around and I had a stack to the left of me, a stack behind me and a stack to the right of me that was just everything. There were stencils thrown everywhere, jelly printed papers, napkins, canvases. It took me about 30 minutes to put everything back because after I would show or do something, I would just toss it behind me and it was it looked like a bomb had gone off in my studio. Thanks, CB. Now, this is a sticker, so I definitely... I think I'm going to take... This is just a, a black in a medium tip. I want to give it more of an edge because it's kind of a clear.
I think I'm going to come in with a... a reddish tint since there's a little pink in it in this one some of these I don't even know what the original colors were anymore But see, once I, you can kind of see, once I blend it, then I can come back in with just a dark edge and let that dry. Like I said, I just kind of vary some of the window combinations to make some look more modern. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure. I think sanding you would just end up removing the color. So I think the clear gesso if it bothered you. Like I said, it doesn't bother me. I just put the first layer of color and then lay them to the side and then after it kind of dries, then I'm good after that getting the second or third layer because then you've got something on there. Yeah, it depends what the look was. If you really want it like a, a weathered look. I haven't been watching any CH. I keep saying I need to on Ustream, like try to Google, and that's what I did last year. I just Googled and saw what was out there. They've been doing a lot of Periscopes this year. I get, I think, because it's just so easy to get on in Periscope. It's just you know an app on your phone, and you're there. And you get interaction with the crowd. But I'll figure I'll let them record all of them, then go sit and do a binge. Okay. Go back to the... And the turquoise that I'm using is a zig. Yeah, I saw those alphabet boards. That's the only thing I've seen that I thought was more innovative, like like new. Most of what I've seen is just sten you know, stencils and some coloring book stuff, you know, things that already exist. I hadn't saw very much innovative. Thanks for watching, Teresa. Are you gonna go to Ashes and get ready for 
I figure I've got about 20, 25 minutes till she starts. Um, this is just an impromptu. I was going to pop on and finish this. I have a really big project that I'm working on for a friend. And I'm trying to figure out how I can, uh, one, where I'm going to work on it while it's cold out. It's an Italian villa on its um, 31 by 40 inches on particle board. And it's going in a antique window frame. I think I'm going to have to move everything on my desk and then just work on it on in sections is what I've decided. I wasn't interested in Tim Holtz, the crayon sets, until somebody said they thought they might be permanent. I'm thinking, Renee, if I take everything off my table, that I could move the board, maybe, or maybe move my table and lower the thing and work on the floor. That's the other possibility because it's so... The other day when I worked on it, I laid it across my um, paint cart, but that's not going to work when I'm trying to get to the paint. I was just gessoing and blocking in. Now I'm down to the crazy angles. I don't know why I'm doing this anyways. Um... It's because you can't say no to your friends kind of thing. I, I hinted really bad. I was like, well, I don't really do that. Mm. You could take a picture and you could get a poster made at Staples and we could put it on the background behind the wind. I mean, I just tried everything. And then all of a sudden I found out that I was painting an Italian street Two, not one, but two. I've just been dragging my feet. the teal but I think I like that brown up there because there's too much teal on the house yeah <laughs> yeah I was like how did this happen and why am I doing this? And we have a mutual friend and I kept trying to tell her it's not really what I do. And they'd say, yeah, I know, but you're such a good artist. Are you getting ready, Ange? You definitely like stack your stuff and like work left to right or right to left. And then your timer will be going and your hands have glue all over them and you need to wiggle the phone to see how much time and then you're like, oh my God, I only have three minutes.
I'm going back and I'm adding some drop shadows down the sides of the houses just to kind of help separate them from the background. Yeah, I have a feeling that this girl, if I had said no, would have been maybe like a little offended because I've done all these projects for our other friend who's the one I'm really close to. And she's, it would have been kind of like, well, she did one for Robin. But she wouldn't do one when I asked her to do, you know, that it would be kind of, it's just easier to do it. And if she doesn't like it, I'm going to say, well, it's really not what I do. You're welcome to paint over it. I recommend you go to Staples and get a big poster made. And decoupage it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it's just not what I like to do. It's like all these perspectives, and it's draw. It's just tedious, and it's, it's what I used to do when I did acrylic painting and before I started doing mixed media. And, you know, like I can draw. I can sit and draw with pen and pencil and shade and but I just don't really like doing it. it I'd much rather get glue on my hands and use stencils and I don't know build layers and Yeah, step one's easy, Lynn. The paint, use a credit card to scrape it is good. Sprays are good. Hi, Iffy. I found step two hard, but I was trying to, like, glue everything down. And the people that did it where they just tacked where they want and then turned the page and used the wax paper or loose and just tossed the sheet over to the side um, didn't seem as stressed. And I would stop and like think at step two and one of the like this matches or this doesn't or where's this going. I'm almost down to the last just down to these last two. try I think I'm gonna try this kind of a burgundy color on this peach one for some of the shading Yeah, and the other thing, like to not get mud, I tried to stick with like three or four colors. And the other thing I found that was real fast on step one is if I would like put six pages, like I stacked my pages before I started. So I had like six pieces because I used smaller when I did the five by seven size or the eight by eight size. 
I stacked my paper where I had six pieces and then I stacked again until I had all of my pages and then I d did like one color and did and then I like pulled those and I had the next layer all down and I could I also did that when I stamped so like I could stamp on two pages at one time so it'd be off the edge and that kind of help me go faster yeah like limit yourself to two or three stencils one or two just having your stuff ready takes away because if it's so stressful that it's no fun then there, what's the point but I did three I did a regular full page round and then I did an 8 by 8 round and then a 6 by 6 round and I did all loose leaf I didn't do it in a book yeah it's okay if you don't get them done it, I mean because you can also come back to them one looks like it has an eye and nose. I may come back and fussy cut another railing in here so that this can be like a patio door. Just I'll have to make it long enough and then come in and cut it around this roof line so that it fits like dry fit it yeah that's good too Angie to use a stencil with multiple dot designs in it so you can just sort of move it around So that's what I'm going to do on that one. I'm going to come back and put another, a double railing. Like they have a, and this is probably one of the ones I'm going to add an umbrella table to. She's planning on streaming longer because Xandra's at CHA, so isn't she going to start and then go a really long time because she knows that Xandra's not streaming?
Oh, you thought you were logged into Ashes? Did she start it yet? I figure it's getting close. Oh, Colleen's going to stream along with Ash at the same time. I did my training earlier. So now all my schoolwork is done. I can just sit back and enjoy and watch and chat. maybe jelly plate and turn the video on why jelly plate not the Ustream but the just the camcorder for a speed video I didn't gesso and if but I was using loose yeah and you're using yeah I don't think that you'll have any problem not gessoing Yeah, yeah. I think why you guys are doing the journal journal by fives, I may jelly print and have my regular camera record and edit it for YouTube later. Since I'm sitting in the art room watching now anyways. I'll do step one with you and then I'll quit. And I might cut out some stuff for this, like, or draw some stuff like a bike. You're using folders, Carrie, right? So are you counting, like, the front, the inside, the back, inside, and the back as four? Are you counting each folder as four pages, and so you have five folders? It would be cool to stitch them uh, or put them together later to make like a, like a book. I really like my folder book that I made. Um, I keep it on my desk. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And I just use that um, kind of the duct tape method with the clear tape to bound it as a book. And then I just... Um, I didn't decorate the inside of the files because I use it. I just store paper so it's like nine or ten folders and I just store papers in it on my desk. And Yeah, the deco art mixed media sprays, paints. Like I said, if you do some and then toss them aside and you come back, you can add a second color, then they're usually dry. I just didn't want to mess with the wax paper and the turning the pages and the pages sticking. So I did it loose. Every time I did it. But I knew I was going to also sell them. So I didn't want them in a book. I knew that I was going to. Take them to an art show and sell them. Alright, so I think I've got all the windows done. I have all the doors done. I think the only thing I need to do is there are a couple of them that need gray down the sides of the... Houses. Put 
put all the markers back. Bring it down Ooh, this way. All right, I am going to stop the broadcast and stop the recording.